Happy Wednesday, Burleson Adventist Church family. You know, we haven't had a chance to connect in a couple of days, and I wanted to send a video just to say, hey, see how you're doing, how you're holding up. I've been speaking to many of you, and I've been praying for you, and I recognize there are some unique challenges that we're going through uh, these days, and I want to pray especially for relationships. Uh, we are together in ways that we haven't been together as families, probably in a long time, maybe ever. And I know the devil wants to work. In fact, he wants to hurt the family more than anything. And so I just want you to know I'm praying for your relationships. Uh, I know the Holy Spirit is there with you. And so I just want to invite you, if you want to talk, if there's something you'd like to share or pray about, you're always welcome to reach out to me. Um, I know it's difficult to do counseling uh, in this context, but we can through Zoom. So if we want to get together, just let me know. But I wanted to share a text with you, a text that I have found a lot of comfort in here lately. And it's found in the book of Mark chapter four. It's Jesus with his disciples. And this is what the Bible says, Mark chapter four and verse 35. It says, on the same day, when evening had come, he, Jesus, said to them, Let us cross over to the other side. Now, when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was, and other little boats were also with him. And then in verse 37, something happens. A great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. The boat was sinking, in other words. And in verse 38, we see something incredibly peculiar, at least I think in most of our minds, this is peculiar, but Jesus was in the stern asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and they said to him, teacher, do you not care that we're perishing? In verse 39, he arose, he rebuked the wind. It, he said to the sea, peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. This is an awesome moment with Jesus and the disciples. Remember, the disciples are seasoned fishermen. They had been on the sea most, if not all, of their lives. At least some of them were, right? And yet here they are clamoring, desperate, scared, fearful. That tells us this was quite a storm. They're an anxious mess. But then we see this picture of Jesus there in the back of the boat, sound asleep, resting in the midst of what these seasoned fishermen would consider to be chaos and would be fearful in. Jesus isn't. That's such a stark difference, don't you think? It makes me think of today in what we're experiencing. The world is kind of crazy around us, and yet maybe we're anxious. Maybe we're fearful. Maybe we're a hot mess. But I want us to remember Jesus isn't. Jesus is on the throne. God is still God. He is still in control. And the King of Kings is still the King of Kings. I want us to bring us, I want us that to bring us peace today. You know, one of the things that Jesus does when he stands up is he says, peace, be still. And that's because Jesus wants to give us peace. He's the author of peace. In fact, the Bible describes him as the Prince of Peace. And you know, that's encouraging to me. Because if there's anything that I want right now, it's peace. In fact, I think we can go through anything in life if we just have peace. How do we get peace? How is that something that we can even have? Well, Paul gives us a clue as to how to do that in the book of Philippians. In chapter 4 and verse 6, Paul, who knew a lot about turmoil and hardship, he writes, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ, Christ Jesus. There's a promise here for peace. In fact, there is a promise for peace that surpasses all understanding. There is a promise that there is a peace that exists that makes no sense. A peace that exists in the midst of all kinds of wild, crazy, anxious, difficult, tumultuous times that doesn't make sense. And why do we have that peace? Why is it there? Because that is a peace that we get only when we're in the presence of Jesus. Be anxious for nothing. You know, I want to remind us of something. In that story in Mark, when the disciples and Jesus were on the boat, they weren't just out there on the sea idly floating around. They were on their way to someplace. In fact, the Bible says 
they were on their way to the other side. There was a destination. There was a goal. They weren't just floating mindlessly. And I want us to remember today, church, we're not floating here mindlessly either. There is a goal. There is a destination. There is a plan. There is a purpose. And there is a final outcome in all of this. So while we wait for Jesus to come, may we do so with peace. May we be anxious for nothing because we're holding on to and clinging to and hoping in the author, the Prince of Peace himself, Jesus Christ. I hope that brings you encouragement today. And I hope you know just how much God loves you. And so do I. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.